Hello, Jorge. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello. Good evening. Doing well. Thank you. What about you? Me too. Thank you for asking. Welcome to class. Okay. Let's get started. Let's see. So before we get down to tonight's topic, let's um, play a little. Let's see. We're going to work with vocabulary. So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to show you two pictures that in the end, they when they're put together, they make a new word. So here we go. Let's see. So we have two pictures here. What is the word we're looking for? Oh, a pancake, I guess. Very good. We got a <laughs> pancake. Very good. Okay. <laughs> So let's see, number two. Mm. What's the first one? A hand. Okay. And the next one? Mm, ice cream or I don't know, a milkshake. Oh, good. So hand. Handshake? Great, very oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Very good. All right, number three says. Oh, butterfly. Of course, there you go. Let's see, number yeah. four says. Motorcycle. Oh, you got it right. Very good, very good. Let's see. Let's go to number five. Watermelon. Nailed it. Very good. Number six. Mm. So the first one is? I don't know, rain or drops. Uh, rain. Or, yeah, rain. rain. Yeah, that's right. What about the second um, one? This uh, ribbon or? Uh, it, it's similar to it. This one is usually worn in, in dresses or in purses. You can try with words that include the word rain. Oh, it could be a rainbow? Exactly. Okay. So this is a bow. Very oh. good. <laughs> yeah, right. when, when I'm thinking about uh, I thinking uh, uh, that, that one for the, the the deeper, how can you say? Um, Let's take a look. So, a bow in, well, we could also call it a ribbon, actually. It's actually the same that you would put in a present, you see, you see? Yeah. Yeah, and this one with the arrow, I guess, I was, uh, Oh, you were also thinking about this one. Yeah. Okay. yeah both. <laughs> good, good, good. All right, let's see. What about number seven? Mm. Maybe head. Head, let's see. Yes, head. Okay. And then? And this is, what is the word? Light, light bulb. So head. Headlight. There you go. Light. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Good. And then number eight. Table stone. Yes. Correct. <laughs> Very good. Welcome to class, Wendy. We are playing with words a little. Let's see. We're going to do a second one so that you can participate as well. Okay. So we need to make one word from the two pictures that we were looking at. So what would be the new word here? What's the first Hello. one? Hello. Hi. 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 Yes, so repeat word. Mm. This is a kind of pineapple from, from the Got it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, these these are called pine. You pine. See, you see, so some people make dishes with these seeds. And then we have the word apple. So 
we form the word pineapple. Let's see. What about number two people? Let's see. So any of you can give it a try this time. So this is a toy. The first one is a toy. And if you don't know the first one, we can uncover the second one. Yeah, second one, I guess, it's a snake, right? Okay. Yeah. What type of snake? I don't know the, that word. <laughs> That's fine. Do you know the word, Wendy? Teacher, sorry, I'm, I'm having some issues to connect my. Oh. Uh, uh, headsets, but uh, yeah, the same as for here. I just know the right. that's just snake. Right. Sure, no worries. So the word we're looking for is a rattle. So this is a rattlesnake. There you go. The snake that has a rattle, like like this one here. Very good. Let's see. Let's move on to number three. So the word we're looking for is network. Yeah, network. Exactly. Very good. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Number four. What's this one? Mm. Is that a cover? A cover dress? Oh, okay. So we say dress. Very good. So what would be the first one? You say the first picture is providing information of a product. You see. So what would be the word? As an advertising. Exactly. So we ad. say an ad plus ad dress. dress. Yeah. There you go. Very good. Very good. No problem. All right. Number five. We have the coins in the right picture. In a, good. What type of coins head. are they? Okay. Head. Oh, this is headquarters. Oh, yeah. You nailed it. <laughs> headquarters. Very good. Very good. Let's see. And six is what is number six? Mm -hmm. And then this is the action. This is an action. Do you see what's the verb to describe picture number two? It's like a pulling, right? Pull, very good. Do you know any other synonym? For example, when you drop something on the floor, what do you have to do? Grab. You grab it, but the action of bringing it Lift. exactly very good so we make a okay oh, yeah, this is a new word <laughs> yeah for mm -hmm. okay it's a machine very good yeah. let's see seven this is back okay this is a back right and this uh, back 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 yeah <laughs> got it very good very good now and the last one. Hmm. I, uh, mm -hmm. So we say I. What this? This is. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> no problem. So let's reveal the word. It's a lid. Oh, lid. It's lid. Okay. So together, when they're put together, eyelid. Eyelid. This part, right? Oh. All right. Very good. Very good. Thanks for your help. Okay. Let's move on to our session. Let's see. So we want to start our session by discussing today's quote. Now. I'm going to have you read it for me, and then you're going to tell me what you think it means. Okay. So, 
So let's see. Okay, so Jorge, can you help me read the quotation? Yeah, shoot for the moon because even, even if you miss, you'll land among the star and yeah. less brown. Exactly. So it says amongst, amongst, and amongst. amongst is exactly the same as among. So you can perfectly say among or amongst. Okay. okay, so what do you understand when you read this quotation? What's the meaning? What is it encouraging people to do? What does it make you think? Yeah, maybe to have a big plan for the future. And even if you didn't uh, achieve that uh, goal, you at least uh, are uh, near of the star, well, near, near of the of the the goal. Okay, I'm very good. So you're maybe if you're not getting your goal, you're getting close to it. Very yeah, good. Yeah, close to. It. Very good. 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 What about you, Wendy? What do you think? Do you agree? Is your opinion the same? Uh, let's see. Yeah, maybe in my words, it's like a um, big dream. Uh, come to dream. Yeah. Dream big. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and at least you will be uh, getting something, right? Exactly. Getting something and getting somewhere, right? Move. Yeah. As long as you move, right? Very good. Or do something. Great. Very good. Now, okay. So today I want to reinforce a topic that um, I think is going to be very useful for the purpose of our presentation in case that um, you choose a topic for your final presentations that has to do with something that, that you really like. Remember, um, I'm going to give you guidelines, specific guidelines later, but um, in a nutshell, you will be speaking about something that you feel comfortable with. Okay, so we're going to reinforce this type of adjective, the ones ending in ed or ing. So remember that adjectives describe a noun. And a noun can be people, things, emotions, and everything that is external, everything that we can see and that we can name. So that's the job of an adjective. So we're going to start talking about adjectives ending in ed or ing by watching a video. So all I need from you is to pay attention to the video. You can even take notes of some of the examples if you need to. And then we will discuss the topic. I'm sure you might have seen this topic before in, the, in depth but we're going to reinforce it. So let's see, here we go. Blah, 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 blah. 
Well, I guess we can finish. Okay, so what is the difference between adjectives that end in ed and the ones that end in ing? What could we say in our own say it? What, what could we say about them or how could we explain how they work? Okay, adjective that end and with uh, ed mm -hmm. uh, represent how you feel or how I feel. Exactly. They represent your emotions. What do you what do you feel inside yourself? Right. How um, um how a situation makes you feel is for the ones that end in ing. So the ones that end in ing we use in order to to give our opinion about an external situation you see it says something or someone that makes us feel a certain way so in this one in this one we're going to give our opinion you see this is for our opinion what we think and this one is related to to the way we feel about something, you see? Now, for example, let me share my screen. Let's say that right here, right here I have a TV, okay? And here I have a book, okay. And this is 
And this is Peter, right? Okay. So Peter is entertained with the TV. You see, he is entertained. This is how he feels inside. Now, he thinks that that the TV is in order to give his opinion about the TV television here. What is the adjective that we're going to use? Entertaining. It's entertaining. Very good. Very good. All right. So now we can also say that Peter is interested in books. You see? So his opinion about books is that he thinks books are, what would be the adjective to use in this situation? Interesting. Exactly, very good. So, interesting, very good. So, the adjectives that N and I and D describe how something affects us externally, you see? We are giving our opinion about what we think, you see? Oh, this person is interesting. This movie is interesting. This TV program is interesting. And the way the TV program makes me feel is this way, interested or entertained. Right, so this is the main difference between adjectives ending in ed and ing. So let's see. We're going to work on this exercise right here. We're going to use the adjectives in pink. Now, how do we pronounce the first one? Can you tell me? The first one is? Confused. Very good. Number two is? Harassed. Exactly. Number three, how do we pronounce it? Frightened. Exactly. Frightened. Then number four, we say? Interesting. Okay, interested. And then this one is? How do we pronounce this one here? Refreshed. Yes. This one? Satisfied. Okay, and this one? Shock. All right, we're gonna say shocked, shocked. Shocked. Exactly, and the last one is? Thrilled. Exactly, we say thrilled. One more time, thrilled, thrilled. Thrilled, thrilled. It's like when we say number three, thrilled, thrilled, you see? Thrilled. So, thrilled, good, very good. Are we okay with the meaning of all these adjectives ending in ed? Mm, yep. Yeah? yeah? Jorge? Yeah. Yes, okay, very good. So, what would be the answer in number one? I was very interested at the television because it was amazing. I was satisfied with our stay at the hotel. The service was amazing. Very good. What about number two, Chloe? Chloe was really embarrassed. Okay, we're gonna say embarrassed. Embarrassed. Uh huh. When he spilled coffee and her co-worker by accident. Very good. Number three says? The man was thrilled. When he heard a noise, he thought it might be a beer. Okay, so we have 
It might be a bear. So Field. it's so or let me give you a hand. Thrilled is extremely excited. It is ah. and then shocked is extremely um surprised. And then frightened. You have frightened, <laughs> frightened when you're extremely scared. So what do you think goes well in number three? Yes. It's frightened. Frightened. Okay, so we're gonna write it down. Okay, very good. What about Zachary? So we have discarded this one. We have used embarrassed and satisfied. Okay, so which of the remaining options do you think goes well in number four? This is shocked. Okay, so can you help me read it? Do you agree? Zachary was shocked mm -hmm. by the waiter's behavior. He thought it was very rude. Very good. We're going to connect the sound right here and we're going to say, he thought it was, he thought it was. He thought it was very rude. Very good. Okay. What about N? And felt refreshed. Mm -hmm. The shower was great after a long run. All right, very good. What about Isaac? Isaac was thrilled. Okay. Thrilled. Uh huh. Isaac was thrilled when? when he won first prize. It was a vacation to the Bahamas. Okay, very good. Paul was confused. By the instructions. Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. They? They didn't make any sense. All right. And the last one said. He was interested. Interested. Interest, interested. Interested. Mm -hmm. Interested. Uh -huh. By the way, the artist painted. It was very unusual. Great. Very good. All right. Very good. So we got them all correctly. Now, we're going to do exercises with the ones ending in ing. So this time, we are not speaking about how we feel about something, but what we think about something. We're going to give our opinion. So number one says, beach vacations are, what do we say about them? What do we think? From the options that we have over here. Exciting. Yeah. Beach vacations are exciting. Very good. Number two. Rain is sometimes depressing. Oh, it is. Very good. All right, so let's stretch this one out. What about number three? Roller coasters? Roller coasters are relaxing. No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> totally the opposite, right? I would yeah. worry. worry. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> exactly. I would say that. Okay, so we say worry. Exactly. Um, it is when you have no money. It is what? Disappointing. <laughs> exactly. It could also be worrying as well. So disappointing right okay so sad. <laughs> it's sad right very good all right let's see we're moving on to the next one okay work meetings are often what Bor boring <laughs> yeah i think we are we all agree sometimes right okay 
so boring, right? Because I'm giving my opinion about something external. Some, I, I think something about a situation, about a person, or about a thing. So I think they are sometimes boring or are often boring. What about number six? What do I think about this activity about running? Tiring. Tiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tiring, right? Okay. Yeah, Marcus. because of the, the, the draw. Exactly. <laughs> the guy looks tired. Okay. Exactly. So this is how you feel after doing that. But your opinion is, oh, running is tiring. This is what I think about it. Now, number seven, it is disappointing to fail an exam oh we can say disappointing as well okay now oh, depressing we can say stressful mm -hmm. or worrying oh you said depressing mm -hmm. oh depressing yeah we can say that so depressing worrying Disappointing, okay. Let's keep disappointing. And mosquitoes are? Annoying. Oh, very good. Okay, so I am giving my opinion about something external that, hasn't, that doesn't have to do with my emotions, how I feel inside myself. All right, so let's see. Now, now that we have done exercises with both, type of act, both types of adjectives, now we need to choose which is the correct one to use here. So number one says, can you help me choose the right adjective in number one? Yeah, I think it's, uh, we, can we read the complete sentence? Sure. Okay. I don't like black and white movies. I think they are boring. Exactly. I am giving my opinion about them. Very good. What about number two? Max was pretty disappointed when he couldn't go to the game. Exactly. This is how we felt because he wasn't able to do what he wanted. What about number three? The news can be very depressing and it is always on TV. Oh, this is so true. So they can be depressing. This is what I think about those news. What about number four? That the was very confused. Oh, good. Why was it confused? It, it couldn't find the toy anywhere. Exactly. So this is how it felt, how the dog felt you see inside for not being able to do something. What about number five? Lemonade? I think lemonade is very refreshing, especially on a hot day. Very good. So this is what I think about lemonade. What about number six? So Herman. was very relaxed. Uh-huh, relaxed, right? Relaxed. Why? He went swimming and then soup to bed. Let me give you a hand. Sunbathed. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Number seven. It is very exciting that I will have my own person. I can wait to drive it. Very good. It is exciting. That situation is exciting. That's my opinion. What about number eight? Samantha was embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Why was she embarrassed? His boy wasn't very good. Oh, poor Samantha. You see, so this is how she felt inside. You see how this situation made her feel inside. Very good. Okay, so let's work on another exercise before we talk a little. We're going to move on to the next part, which is having a discussion. Okay, so let's see. All 
Okay. Here D we go. And ING. In this video, you're going to learn this simple difference. First, let's take the 12 question quiz. One. So we're taking a quiz of 12 questions. Here we go. Frustrated or frustrated? What's the right answer? We said frustrated. Great. Emotions, how we feel inside. Very good. We felt frustrated at the slow progress. Number two. two. Exhausted or exhausting? What is the right answer? Imagine this is you. Uh huh. One more time. Yeah, exhausting. Can you repeat it one more time, please? Exhausting. 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 Very good. Okay, let's check. I finally reached the border after an exhausting eight hour ride. Very good. So I am giving my opinion about the ride. It was exhausting. Let's see. Three. Touched or touching? What is the right answer here? Susan was coach, but he still remember her. Okay, so we're going to repeat and we're gonna say touched. Repeat with me. Touch. 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 Let's see. Susan was touched that he still remembered her. Very good. Four. Embarrassed or embarrassing? Mm. It's embarrassing. Exactly. The situation. I couldn't remember her name. It was really embarrassing. So this is what the situation was like. Five. Which of these sentences is correct? All right. So we need to choose the right one. Take your I time to read. It's letter B. The annoyed, the annoyed thing about the statement is that it's confusing. You said letter C. B. Letter B. Okay, very good. So, what are we talking about? Um, the the feeling that the person that this person is having uh, is feeling annoyed because the, the statement is is being confusing. Okay, for very good. Or him. So the statement is confusing. Very good. And there is a thing. You see, there is something. There is a thing here that I am giving my opinion about. So in this case, as you can notice, um, I'm not saying that I feel, personally feel affected by it. So I'm just describing things that are external. You see, so I am giving a quality to that thing about the statement. So do you think letter B is still the right answer? Yeah, so the keyword is that we are talking about the thing, right? So yeah, the word I think it's letter A. Letter A, let's see. The correct sentence, the annoying thing about the statement is that it's confusing. Very good. Okay, so you see now where I am, I'm giving my opinion about that thing. So the annoying detail, the annoying point you see about the statement is, that it is confusing. I'm giving my opinion twice in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six. Surprised or surprising? Surprising. Very good. Here we go. Let's see. We got some very surprising results. Oh, what type of results? Oh, surprising ones. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, let's move on to the next exercise. Let's see. Okay, so in this part, you 
are going to give me the right, you see? Put a, put a check mark after these sentences that are correct. Correct the sentences that are wrong. Okay, so basically we're going to evaluate the sentences here. You're going to tell me if the sentence is correct, and if it's not correct, we're going to say the correct word. For example, Jorge, can you help us read the example that we have over here? I was shocked when they say my name. My picture was the worst. Oh, okay, very good. So, so I was shocked. Is correct or do we need to change it? It's correct. It is correct. Very good. So this is how I feel or how I felt. Very good. Number two. So now we're talking about Vincent. I think it's Vincent was interested when they started talking about football. Exactly, very good. So this time we need to make a correction and we need to say interested. This is how he felt when they started talking about something he liked or he was interested in. Now, what about number three? We need to fix it. it. Should be the woman was tired after the walk, ten kilometers. Oh, very good. All right, so we're gonna say the woman felt this way. We're gonna say tired. Repeat with me. Tired. Tired. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's write it down. Tired. Like this. Okay. Very good. What about number four? Is it correct or do we need to change it? I think it's correct. It is right. I'm, I'm giving my opinion about an external situation. So I'm going to say it's correct. All right. What about number five? Is it correct or do we need to change it? We need to change it. Okay. What do we need to say? Rita. Rita was satisfied. Mm -hmm. Why? Was she, why was she satisfied? When? when she finally got her money back from the vacation company. Thank you. Number six, Garrett. Correct or well, do we need to change it? It needs to be corrected. It needs to be thrilled when mm -hmm. he got a new bike for his birthday. Very good. Number seven, Evan. Is it correct or do we need to change it? It's correct. It is, right? I'm giving my opinion about Evan, right? Not how I feel inside, but what I think about him. So I think he is annoying. We can think people are boring, annoying, you see, confusing. Number eight. I think it's correct. It's fact that, yeah, that. That dog is fighting. It has really big teeth. All right, let's see. So we want to describe how the dog feels or do we want to describe what we think about the dog? Because he has this characteristic. You are describing. We're describing the what? The? The dog. The dog. The dog. So my opinion about the dog, because it has really uh, big teeth, is that it is very frightening. Very frightening. good. Exactly. It is frightening. Very good. All right. You see? Oh, the dog has big teeth. So my opinion is that it is frightened. You see? Now I can say. On the other hand, I could say that dog, I can say, makes me frightened. Frightened, okay. Because it has really big teeth. Very good. Okay, so now we're ready to have a little discussion. Let's see. So we're gonna we're gonna answer some questions where we can find 
adjectives ending in ing or ed. What is the first question, Jorge? Can you help us read? What kind of thing do you find, do you find exciting? Mm -hmm. What are those things? What activities, for example? Yeah, for example, ride a bike. Okay, so we're in, gonna in a mountain in a mountain. Ah, okay. So we're gonna say riding, riding. Uh huh. A bike. Uh, okay. In the in the mountain. We're gonna on say. The uh huh. On the mountains. Repeat with me. On the mountains. On the mountains. On the mountain. Very good. Okay. So the second part. So this first part we say mound, and then this one. It sounds like le like number 10, mountains, but with the letter S, mountains. You see? Can you repeat after me? Mountains. Mountain. Very good. Okay. Uh, and why do I have to say riding and not ride? Well, when you start a sentence speaking about an activity, this activity becomes the subject of your sentence. So, so what am I speaking about? I'm speaking about this action. So riding a bike now i could also look at it as a, as an activity and when we talk about activities we also use a gerund so i can say swimming gardening uh painting you see so this is why we when we describe activities we need to use the gerund now let's see next question goes to wendy let's see can you read it for me yeah when when was the last time you were terrified okay um terrified is like an extreme feeling right it's an extreme <laughs> feeling it's similar to frightened it's yeah, similar yeah. To it. well i remember that uh, let's see Yeah, I was in I was in a in a in a, in a plane. So, yes, of course, right? right? On on a I plane. A, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was traveling, <laughs> and um, uh, swimming. There was a turbulence when oh we were traveling. Yeah, and, and it was like a, a terrifying feeling because yeah we didn't know what will happen right <laughs> so oh yeah it's it's did it last yeah, long I, I, yeah yeah I, I remember that i was with, with my mother and, and my husband but yeah I, I, I think my mom and i was were really <laughs> terrified about that feeling but my husband was uh, sleeping <laughs> oh was that's sleeping. what he was oh my <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, can you repeat with me? My mom and I. My mom and I. Uh huh. We're terrified. Yeah. Oh my! I bet you were. I can understand. It must have been so frightening. Um, but luckily, you made it safe. And yeah, that's, yeah. And that's all, that matters. <laughs> all right. Thank you for sharing. Let's see. Hard hit. Let's see. What about the next one? How did you hear about any surprising news or gossip recently? Okay, so have you heard? One more time, heard, heard, heard. about. How did you hear about mm -hmm. any surprising news or gossip recently? Mm -hmm. What have you heard? Yeah, yeah, I hear another a news about uh, a fight between uh, Elon Musk and Zuckerberg. Oh, okay. okay, what was it about? Well, they, they are planning to have a, like a boxing encounter, something like that. Oh my. Yeah. How dare they? Like, like what? Are they even boxers? No, no. <laughs> they are actually, the, how can I say, yeah, they have business uh, entrepreneur, owner, exactly. something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know why they are planning to, to box between them. 
it's one of these crazy things that that yeah. rich people do right sometimes to catch attention yeah. <laughs> yeah. maybe it's Probably. gonna be something staged um <laughs> all right let's see so i heard repeat with me i heard a piece of news i've heard it i heard i heard a piece of news okay something curious about this word news is that it is it is singular see news i know it has a letter s there but it cannot go with a news because there's a letter s so in order to to work with the let me go back to it okay to work with the word we can say a piece of news you see in order to refer to one so instead of saying to a news okay. so a piece of news okay so if you only say news it's several them. you could also say i've heard some news some news, some news. okay you can also say that or a piece of news let's see got it thank you what is the next one wendy What is the most thrilling thing you have ever done? Interesting question. <laughs> um, yeah, very exciting thing. Mm, I can say when I uh, got married. Oh, can you repeat it one more time? Yeah, um, the most is the most thrilling thing that I have ever done is when I got married. Oh, very good. Very yeah. good. <laughs> so you can say getting married, or because you're speaking about activity, or exactly the way you said it when I got okay. married. Very good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Exactly. Can you tell us about? A little about when you got married. Yeah, I can share some details. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't uh, pay for a wedding planner, so my husband and I uh, were planning everything. So, oh my, that's as a lot of money. Now, <laughs> yeah, as a woman, it's like a, our uh, big dream, and and the one that everything uh, went perfect, but. Um, I was like uh, doing some checklist and and my husband was in in a way okay no worries everything will be okay uh, let me do some stuff with me and and, and I, I will take care about it but yeah at, at the end um, we suffer like a kind of stress but I, but I think the the, the most uh, beautiful moment was when we got the the people that are our beloved ones and they were joining us at that special moment that we uh, are going to uh, remember for for all our, all our life I, I think of course yeah and it was a stressful and I, and I, but also <laughs> thrilling about uh, each details and the, the, the experience it, it was it exactly. was something lovely yeah i i bet your husband had to be so patient as well <laughs> and and I, say, I told you i told you we we, we could forget something and, and it was the case but yeah i think at the end the the, the experience is, is something unique and, and you need to to live that experience and enjoy it as much as you but can that always happens yeah. right <laughs> like there's always a detail that doesn't go the way we want but it's still a wonderful experience yeah because uh, the the theme teacher is that uh, we need to be uh, on time at the church because of the exactly. uh, priest was saying that we need to be there because if done uh, he would start even if we weren't present uh, at the oh church. my god <laughs> what 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 <laughs> Oh my! All right, so he was a strict, a strict priest. Yeah, oh my. so much. <laughs> and 
put the That's actually in funny. Yes. Like, hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> It yeah, was because, like I'm marrying someone. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I recall that when I was a child, I was like, a, a, I was a, a part of the, I don't know how to say it in English, but it, it was for the, the, the girl that will be under uh, 50, 15 years. So oh, when we arrived at, at oh. the church, the same priest was as uh, he noticed that uh, the the birthday girl wasn't there. He started with the mass, even with the absence of the of the main um, the girl that who was, was there. Turning. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> when oh. when I was in the um, meetings with the with the couples at the same church, was the the same priest and he was saying okay I will be uh, uh, giving you this advice that you need to be on time in the in the in the mass because if not I will start even if you are not there. Oh my god so that <laughs> was I clear. Believe, yeah. <laughs> I, I know that he will be uh, uh, doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have believed him as well. Yeah. That's actually I, a very I, funny story. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm glad you made it on time and that even though there was a lot of stress, you were able to have a wonderful wedding that, like you said, you will never forget. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Let's see. Let's move on to Jorge. Let's see. Jorge, the next question is for you. Let's see. What do you do when you are bored? Um, when usually... Uh, I, uh, I use my cell phone to, how can I say this, to, 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 to see Facebook or, oh, or YouTube. Oh, yeah, you, you go on, you can say go on, okay. go on Facebook, you see? Or YouTube. So, mm -hmm. YouTube. Yeah, I usually go on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, very good. Or you can also say, um, you say, uh, you can say, spend time. Spend time on Facebook, you see, or YouTube or any, any social media. All right. And which is your favorite, Facebook or YouTube? YouTube. Yeah, what type I of videos do you like to watch? Yeah, well, uh, mystery videos or terror. Oh my! You like you like horror? Yeah, I like a lot. Oh, uh, you you said you said you like anime, right? Yeah. In our first classes, um, how much time do you spend watching anime? With how much? Well, you say? it depends on if I found a, a new anime that I like, uh, probably I spend all the night. All right. Okay. I, I can understand <laughs> that. I like it too. So, uh, so it depends. It depends. You see, repeat with me. It depends. It depends. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Wendy, next question is for you. Or is the one that you have already? So let's see. Yeah, what would be the most satisfying job for you? Uh, I think um, nowadays is for me the, the my current job is is enough. Uh, well, it's it's not enough. I, I can say that is is a great job because I have the opportunity to um, work with different people, different cultures. Mm -hmm. and some talent people that is every day is a, is a challenge <laughs> that you need to uh, face it's face yeah different different challenge but the, the, the one thing that I, I would like to say is that I have the uh, opportunity to um, 
experience with my no no to, to share my experiences mm -hmm. there and, and also learn uh, new stuff and, and new ways to to do the the things in a better way. How wonderful! So, would you say your job is satisfying enough to you? Yeah, I, I was thinking that even if we can get a, a better opportunities, it, it will be uh, great. But yes, nowadays I, I think um, my my job is is uh, satisfying me, so I feel satisfied. Very good, very, <laughs> very good. good. Yeah. Exactly. So um, this is the last tip I'm going to give you tonight. Uh, when you want to to say <laughs> to name a quality and then you want to use the word enough, then the adjective goes first. So satisfying enough, like great enough. You see, we can also say that something is or isn't big enough. You see, so the adjective goes first. All right. So thank you for joining me tonight for this reinforcement. Uh, do you have any questions before we leave tonight? Not too sure. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Good, good. So, you know, you can ask me any questions anytime if you have any doubts as well. And even regarding your um, exercises, your, your practice on the platform. So thank you for joining. I will see you tonight. Have a great night. Bye bye. Thank you. Tomorrow. Thank Tomorrow. You. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. See you. Tomorrow. Bye. See you.